Hi, welcome back to a brand new Coffee Tech Show with Jan. So, in my last video, uh, I showed you the uh, unboxing of a Trio C60. I showed you how easy it is uh, to pair a Trio C60 with your Ego Director 2, uh, just like you pair it with a Trio, uh, a Trio Visio Plus or Visio Pro. Uh, it's very easy as long as your C60 and your Ego Director 2 are on the same network. And then it should be able to identify it and you can uh, pair them up to, uh, to cancel the audio eh, coming from the trio and make sure that the Director 2 eh, will avoid uh, the trio being tracked. Now, today I got something new. I wanted to show you how easy it is to daisy chain multiple trio C60s in a row. Uh, so one trio, can go up to six meters, but two trios can go up to 12 meters. So if you got three, you can go up to almost 20 meters of range at looking at the table. But I can imagine in today's COVID world that we need bigger rooms and, uh, and the one and a half meter range between the participants in the room. And I can imagine those bigger rooms are extensively used, uh, but you also need bigger and capacity looking at speaker and mic functionality. And you can create that very, very easily. And this is what I wanted to show you in uh, this video. So in this case, I got two. So as I said, that you can daisy chain today up to three Trio uh, C60s. And what I will show you is we got here the Trio, which will be my primary. Uh, and we will hook this up uh, using USB cable to a laptop or service hub etc and we daisy chain it with the second one eh? and i will show you how that works i'm using on the landing a poe plus and that means we can even power the second trio in this case using the poe so the land out of this guy if you just use poe plus will have poe so you can even eh, power the second one and save uh, cables in the room because not every room uh, in today's world is prepared for all those additional devices uh, speaker and mic devices in the room and uh, so that is really easy to uh, uh, to build that in uh, in any room so hook it up the usb a to the laptop the service of one the service of two and uh, it's uh, it's very flexible now let me show you so i have a network cable right here so let me show you on the back side of my primary unit so this is my primary unit and what i will do is here you got the hdmi mini we got the lan in we got here the lan out and this is the hdmi in and uh, but we don't use that today this will be for uh, for future use so i will put my poe plus in the lan in now i have another cable here which is a usb mini on one side and usb a on this side so we'll put the mini right here here you go so we have now the mini and the lan of course in your production environment then make sure you use the cabling nicely under this bracket and you can easily guide that so you can even use extension mics if you want but the capacity for the extension mics is around four and a half meters. Yeah, four and a half meters extra. So you got six meters and you can even go eh, a little bit uh, further. So these are for the, eh, the wired extension uh, mics. But in this case, I wanted to daisy chain multiple Trio C60s eh, as that is for the really, really big uh, capacity rooms. Now, what we will do is we will grab a second cable let me show you that and i will put that in the lan out all right so we use now lan in for poe plus my lan out is now poe and i will show you that because i will use this cable on the second one in the lan in show you that so that is now connected to the LAN in here and if everything goes well this one should also 
power up as you see perfect so we have now powered my second one is uh, powering up now let me show you how easy it is to pair them up so we will need to put this one uh, into the usb mode uh, or in the sky for business mode uh, or any other mode that supports uh, daisy chaining uh, so always check the release notes and we need to put the second one into the device mode so it's able to pair uh, with uh, with each other now let me show you that so what i usually do is use a new setting that's the out of box wizard so you go to advanced you type here of course a very complex password you go here to administration reset to default and all the way below you see a new wizard out of box wizard and here you can quickly run through the wizard of the trio and that means you can set language you can set your time zone but also you can set your profile here so you can really just select uh, quickly the profile you need so you got skype for business profile usb uh, profile we got native teams we got the controller mode uh, to to pair it up with the uh, x30 x50 or g7500 and we got here the daisy chain options which at the end means uh, both of them means you put them in a device mode now i will use it in usb optimized mode and uh, because i want to use it as a usb peripheral i say yes and here you go so this one is now set to the usb mode and uh, as i said uh, earlier it's very easy to do but just eh, you need to see it once so you got a little bit of the idea how to configure eh, the different devices now the second one we need to put this one into the daisy chain mode so again we go here to the wizard we go to advanced and we type a very complex password we go to admin settings and all the way you see here reset defaults out of box wizard we say yes accept so we type in the language we type in the time zone so we set the time zone here all right got it right here next now and here again we got a profile setting so we need to put it in device mode so that means the controller or daisy chain eh, but we're gonna daisy chain it so we use here the daisy chain option next all right now it will reboot after the device has been rebooted in the daisy chain mode what you will see is that the led lights are flashing so let me show you also the front interface eh? so you see now it's just waiting in a sort of device mode and eh, to pair it up and you can easily change this back in the future eh? by just going here under the settings advanced and then type here the password network devices and you see it's now in device mode and that means it's a sort of slave for the hub eh? so you can easily change that back in the future so it's now just waiting and uh, to pair so we can press the pairing button that means the led lights are now flashing and it uh, puts on a signal on the network a multicast signal that the primary will be able to pick up and so let me now go here into the network settings go into advanced and of course we have a very complex password network devices and what you will see is that there's now trio c60 here popping up as an available device we click on it and what will happen is on the secondary we click on pair you see that the secondary is now paired and i can even show you now and on top of each other they show exactly the same menu so if i click on it what you will see this will jump through exact the same menu so the primary is now the one who's leading and eh, with the configuration and the secondary will automatically eh, use those same settings as you see here so volume 
And so if you click on the secondary, the volume control, or on the primary, as you will see, and it's all the same. And even the volume up on the secondary, or uh, yeah, volume down. Uh, so you can see it's all in sync now with each other. Very good. So what is also uh, available now is you see a sort of chain. Uh, so both primary and secondary in the top right, you see a chain. Uh, and that means that they are paired with each other. You see the same here on the secondary. And uh, so they are daisy chained now. All right, yes, and the last thing we need to do is you use the USB-A cable coming from the primary, you hook that up to your G-Series uh, Teams Room System or your laptop or your Surface Hub uh, one or two, and you can extend the speaker, mic, and microphone functionality very uh, deeply into, uh, into your rooms. Now, again, this was just a quick video uh, to show you how easy it is to uh, daisy chain multiple Trio C60s in your room.